These are some of the blackberries and loganberries that I've been pruning over the last few weekends. Uh, I don't know if you can see these um, metal wires uh, through which I weave uh, the various plants. We do that and we cut off the side shoots because we want these new shoots uh, to come out and those seem to be the ones that produce the most blackberries. Um, and I'm looking, where was I? I said, over here is a loganberry. I don't know if you can see the difference. Here's a blackberry with its great uh, thorns. Here's a loganberry. Uh, there's a couple here, which are much finer thorns. They're, they're um, much more delicate, but they still produce a beautiful fruit. Um, down here, I've got some of the uh, roots that came and, uh, from a sucker and went onto the lawn. I'm going to dig that back in so that the uh, plant gets plenty of feed for a good crop. I can't see any um, ladybirds today, but hopefully they'll be in the bug house and in some of the cracks in the wall and amongst some of the leaves. I mean, whenever I do this, I always think of um, John chapter 15 and the pruning of the vine. We prune the vine to make it more fruitful at the end of the year, at the turn of the seasons. I wonder what we're doing to make sure that we are fruitful in the days, weeks, months, years ahead. What can we be pruning at this season to make sure that we produce a rich harvest and flourish to bring glory to God? Amen.